All right, we're here. Stakeout number 157. Wow. Yeah, I think I'm really getting used to this. Yeah, you're becoming more professional. I think I'm already at that level, but... I'm just upset we didn't catch that last girl. Who would have known that she knew Kanye West and as soon as he was in town, she just hopped on his private jet and left the country. She's in Kim's hands now. I guess so. I forgot my donuts for this stakeout. Haven't you had enough donuts for a day? Never, never mind, sorry. Um, well, I uh, hope that you're more prepared than you were last time we were on a stakeout together. I remember that dinky camera you were toting around. I definitely took your advice, Sensei. Yeah. I upgraded. Oh, very to nice. this. Do you see the movement in that bush over there? Oh yeah. Is that her? That looks like her. I don't think your camera is up to the task though. I think it is. We're going to have to bring out the big guns on this one. Again? Can it get any bigger? Yes, it can. Oh. Unlike last time, this time, I'm not letting her get away. That was, yeah. Anyway, this video is about this giant lens. This is, well, technically it's the 650 to 1300 millimeter, but what you actually get with the converter is a 1300 to 2600 millimeter telephoto lens. So let's check it out. So here is everything that came in the package. How to use your manual lens. This is a 2x HD teleconverter. Now this will effectively double your focal length. So pretty simple magnifying glass if you will. The next little box is the T-mount for Sony Nex. So what this lens is, is essentially it's a T-mount lens and then they just sell it with whatever adapter that you need for your particular application. So pretty simple, Optica branding T2 to NEX. So T2 on one side and E-mount on the other. And now for the fun part, the big box with the giant lens. So everything that you need comes in this handy carrying pouch. Move that out of the way. You get a giant lens cap that's just plastic. Here is the lens. I don't even know how to show you this up close. Brand Optica here, near and far inner focus. Uh, looks like a mount for a, uh, a tripod because this thing is quite heavy. Around the front, ginormous front lens element. So if we screw on the 2X teleconverter with the E-mount adapter, that is the entire length. And then, whoa, take a look at that. It gets even longer. So this is, um, I guess, instead of a zoom ring, you essentially are just expanding and collapsing this whole thing. And then you can, t I'm assuming, tighten it down. Yeah. So there's a lock, very interesting lens. This thing is heavy. It looks like it's all metal construction. Feels like you can use it as a baseball bat if you wanted to. So here is what the lens looks like mounted on my A6000. As you can see, it is giant. It is very heavy and it gets bigger. So yeah, definitely not something that you would take with you on a vacation, I don't think. Anyway, let's quickly look at a couple of sample photos I took using this lens.
All right, so that is it for the sample photos. Overall, what are my impressions of this thing? Well, it's an interesting lens. This is probably by far the largest lens that I've ever used, and it's also the most difficult lens that I've ever used. Now, the locking mechanism on this column here where you unscrew it and then you can slide it up and down isn't very secure. Even if you lock it down, it still tends to move a little bit, so not sure if it's just my copy of this lens or what it was, but that was not fun. The whole thing is very touchy, as you can imagine, even with optical stabilization on A6500. This thing is way too zoomed in for the stabilization to work effectively. And any small motion on your tripod results in some blurry images. I found that my tripod was not substantial enough to support this lens, so the video was very wobbly and the photos were mostly pretty blurry. The focus ring certainly does not have enough range as I would like, uh, especially given the fact that this thing is so telephoto. At 2600 millimeter, the focal plane is paper thin and you really only have about a fifth of a full 360 turn with the focus. So nailing focus is almost impossible zoomed in. On the wide end at 650 millimeter or 1300 millimeter, it's a little bit easier to use. I guess I should talk about image quality, which is subpar, below average, not that great. Um, I found that it was pretty difficult, as I mentioned before, to focus, but even if you nailed quote-unquote the focus, uh, the image was nowhere near as sharp as I personally expected it to be, so that's unfortunate, but it is a cheap lens, so. So this is not a lens that you would take with you when you travel, although I suppose you could use it to travel to other countries from the comfort of your living room if you wanted to. I can see Russia from my house. <laughs> all jokes aside, for the money it is impressive because of the build quality so it's all metal, but there are a couple of things that are pretty finicky with this lens. This zoom is just really weird. You can see the markings. The f-stop goes from f8 to f16 depending on where your zoom is. There's no other aperture adjustment. And because you do have to be very stable when you are trying to use this lens, the fact that this end kind of wiggles a little bit doesn't make things easier. It is a very interesting lens though. If you guys are into lunar photography, definitely check this thing out if you're on a budget. I don't know that there are many other lenses that go out to 2600 millimeters um, anywhere near this price range. So as always, I'll post links to Amazon down below so that you guys can check them out. If you guys have any questions about this lens or any experience using it, let me know down in the comments below. As always, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all of the likes, comments, and support, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. This is so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that was missing last time was your uh, small camera. No. Nope. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't worry, I had a small camera. Okay, redo that whole thing. Stakeout number 4,421. <laughs> Did you ever get your heart back? <clears throat> Should we listen to Justin Bieber again? Yeah. <laughs> Did you bring any Don't. <laughs> Did Whoa. you bring any dough? <laughs> what is this? This just turned into a rom com. Do you see the move? <laughs> okay. Can it get any bigger? <sighs> Cut!